it's on. So I wanted to do a little video, um, kind of like I used to when I drove flowers around, etc. Except now I work at Dillard's and I am a business manager of lingerie, so it's quite different. Instead of seeing cows, I uh, see intimates. So I make great relationships. I've made great friends. I've had a wonderful time and I found my family there. So yesterday was my 44th birthday. And um, cheers to me for making it 44 years on this earth. A few things I would like to cover that I have learned about myself in the past 44 years. They're going to be random. I'm just kind of going at this by the seat of my pants. So it might be stupid. It might be comical. I don't know. And I don't really care. Un momento. Okay, class. I learned in my 44 years on earth that once you go black, you never come back. Sent hints the black hair. I tried to rock the um, the OG like red and blonde and streaky highlights. That was my natural for a long time. I tried really, really hard. Um, but I started dyeing my hair black, which I kind of need to redo again. And why it is... Um, some say harsh. I love it. So I think it brings out my soul. <laughs> my black soul. Just kidding. I really do like it and I'm going to stick with it. So there you go. Once you go black, you never go back. Another thing I have learned in 44 years is a really important one that hate and ignorance about the hate you hold inside will hold you hostage. So if you have hate for someone, if you have disdain or beef with someone, just let it go, man. Just give it to God. Give it to your God. Give it to your higher power. I don't care what you do with the hate. Just don't bring it around here, you know? And don't bring it to you. Don't bring it to your heart. Don't bring it to your soul. Let it go. See the bird? Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Anyway, let it go because it will eat you alive. Um, that's from experience. And since I have let go of the hate that wasn't really hate long story i'm not going to get into it but since i've let that go i have let so much more room in for love and peace so let that ish go another thing that i have learned is <clears throat> I love cats. <laughs> I love kittens. I love gray cats. I love calico. I love whatever. I love cats. That's just it. Am I a crazy cat woman? Yes. And no. I'm not crazy, but I am a cat woman. So there you go. I've also learned that being scared about doing something is your indication that you should do it. As long as you are ready for the positive and negative consequences 
of what you're about to do. Because there's always positive and negative consequences. There's always just consequences for every action of every minute of every second of every day you take. There are consequences. Be willing to embrace the consequences and learn from it. But take the steps, take the plunge. If you're looking for a new job, if you're scared to go out and grab that job by the horns and wrangle it in, I did. And um, I truly couldn't be happier. I'm very happy. Um, if you love someone and you haven't told them whether it's romantic or just just love in your heart tell them you know just go for it life's so short i've been here 44 years i i i remember sitting atop my dad's shoulders when i was like four years old so 40 years ago watching the stars in the sky and i thought he was the and i still think he was and is the loveliest man and he was so special and that 40 years from that memory have gone in the blink of an eye so embrace each day truly do find something you love find something you're good at find something you have passion about and it doesn't matter just do it Another thing I learned is, um, I learned this today, actually. Hold on, one more sip here. I learned that really good, a, a really good face routine really does make the difference in your skin texture and shine and wrinkles and dryness looking so I was given a lovely 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 gift by my Dillard's family that included some Lancome and cleaning just some beautiful items for my birthday yesterday and I said what the heck and I used um last night I wanted to like switch it up I used the Clinique, uh, like a nighttime mask. It felt great, um, yada, yada. And this morning, I looked at the Lancome because there's something about Lancome that I've always looked at it and thought, ooh, bouge. So I was like, what if? I have it now. So I, use, I washed my face with the foaming face gel cleanser smelled so good felt good i felt like clean um because i'm gonna be honest with you before today before my epiphany i just used like hand soap for my face and some oil so i was looking a little crusty you know and i was looking crustier than i felt inside and I wanted my outside to reflect what I feel inside, if you know what I mean. So anyway, wash my face with, face with that. And then I got the Lancome. It's like a face cream. I put that all over going up. I don't know if that's how you do it. I don't know. But I went up because it felt good. It was like a massage, right? On my neck, on the, what's it called? Delicatesh. Delicatesh. So I was going up, you know, and then I was like, ooh, how do you do that? Ooh, yeah, there you go. Eye cream. And I was like, okay. So I took a tiny bit and I just, with this finger, because I read, is it the ring finger? Yeah. I read somewhere that that's your weakest finger. And you should use that when you're messing with your eye boots. So I just went, uh, 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 uh. And then I, just a tiny bit. And then I went up top and then like. I smoke, so, yeah, don't do that. That's another lesson, 44 years. Don't start, yo. Anyway, I smoke, and I took it, and I kind of put it right here because I got those lines, like, um, like Skeletor, 
Okay, so I did there, did here, did my other boop, boop. I can't do it. Anyway, I did it, and then I like fanned myself to let it go, and I put a primer, and then I put a foundation, whatever, um, a setting mist. Uh, my friend Julie told me to do that. And um, this is what I got. Sorry, the hair. I mean, I don't care. I'm off today. Do you see? I mean, I don't, can you see? I don't know where to, I don't know where the camera is. So, but it's just so dewy and like there's not. I mean, I like this. I feel good. Anyway, so hydrate and love your face. Spend some money on it. Seriously, come to Dillard's. Check it out. Lancome. Boom. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so this one's funny. If my niece, Michaela, ever watches it, and I'll be done with this video in a minute, but if my niece, Michaela, ever watches this, I want um, to do a shout out to her because her and I both learned this. I um, learned this. I learned this in my 44 years. She learned this in her much younger age. I learned, um in the most recent years that okay it's almost embarrassing okay anyway there was uh sorry i got a call um almost done i just learned in the last couple of years that biden we're not going political but i'm just saying that biden was correct me if i'm wrong obama's vice president that was like his boo ha 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 everybody's like what a dummy but i assure you i'm very intelligent i just don't give a rat's patoot about politics tbh because regardless of what happens outside of my familia and my uh, castle affects me, obviously, some, but it doesn't affect my day-to-day -day on that level. I don't stream presidential debates. I don't read newspapers. I barely watch TV. Um, if I do, it, it's a couple minutes. Um, it's... It's mostly because of OCD, but that's okay. I've embraced that. I have meds for that, so I also learned meds help. So, um, Michaela, you learned it with me. Um, that's it for now. Ta-ta. Signing off. Love you. Thanks for the birthday witches.